Hello, I'm Steven. No, I'm Steven. No, I'm Steven. Just kidding, my friends. Let us begin. All right, children. Today we're going to stimulate your senses, oh. add flavor to your lives, oh. and talk a wee bit about the electron transport. That is right, boys and girls. You see, when a daddy really, really loves a mommy, magic happens in the- Whoa there, Steven. That's not what the electron transport chain is about. It's about how the storks bring the babies. You are both dullards. The electron transport chain is about so much more. For starters, the electron transport chain is a series of proteins and organic molecules found in the mitochondria, specifically in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. In a nutshell, electrons are passed from one component of the transport chain to the next in a series of oh-so-spicy redox reactions, and the energy released from each of these reactions is captured to establish a hydrogen proton gradient whose potential energy is finally harnessed to make ATP. Hot darn it. Your mind is like two planets, but we need to go deeper and explain things a little bit more thoroughly to the more delicate minds that might be watching this. I for one agree. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Fine. Let me begin with a story. There's a young man named Mr. Krebs. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krebs? Shut your trap, donkey. As I was saying, Mr. Krebs goes through a very special cycle in which NADH and FADH2 molecules are produced. There's also some NADH molecules produced during the process of cellular respiration. All of these molecules have a ton of potential energy stored in them, but we can't use it yet, my pretties. <laughs> That's right. We need to somehow use this potential energy to create ATP. But how do we get from point A to point B? Well, you see, the electron transport chain has proteins in it that really, really want to reduce NADH and FADH2 molecules. When NADH molecules enter the electron transport chain, they realize with horror that they are about to part with their most precious belonging, their hydrogen ions. The proteins in the electron transport chain slurp up the hydrogen ions. Could I get a slurp noise, everybody? Good work. Anyway, the hydrogen ions get sucked up by the proteins in what is known as an oxidation reaction, and this releases a metric buttload of energy. Now it's my turn. What do we do with that energy, boys and girls? I like that too. In other words, the energy is used to pump hydrogen ions from the mitochondrial matrix to the mitochondrial membrane and into the intermembrane space. That's called active transport, baby. Okay, but what do we actually do with these transferred hydrogen ions? Oh, this is the juiciest part of all. By creating a chemical gradient, we have basically stored a bunch of potential energy that can be harnessed to finally <laughs> make the precious, I know, let's let it groan, and finally make the precious <laughs> ATP molecules that we all so desperately crave during the darkest hours of the night. Let me get to the juice, please. You see, these hydrogen ions flow through a special protein complex called the AP ATP synthase. Let's try saying it all together, everybody. ATP synthase. ATP synthase. ATP synthase. What does the ATP synthase actually do? Well, we have no clue. Just yanking your chain, young puffs. <laughs> When the hydrogen ions naturally diffuse down their gradient and flow through the ATP synthase like, uh, like, uh... Like water cascading upon the smooth, bare bottom of a newborn baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they cause ATP synthase to essentially turn like a turbine, which adds phosphate groups to the ADP molecules, creating ATP. This happens over and over again until the hydrogen gradient returns back to normal. And that's about darn tootin' it. Okay. Now let's take, pardon, now let's test your understanding with an interesting application question. What happens when you take a big chunk of cyanide and shove it down your gullet? Can we have a volunteer, please? I kid, I kid. Anybody? Well, cyanide is poisonous because it inhibits one of the proteins complexes in the electron transport chain, making it unable to transport any electrons. This causes the process of the electron transport chain to eventually come to a fast halt, causing hydrogen ions to no longer be pumped out of the matrix and into the mem mem blah, 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 intermembrane space. Therefore, no hydrogen ion gradient can be created and no ATB can be created as well. So basically, you die. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs>